So Phyllis is our 1997 StarCraft pop-up camper. Uh, giant beds, king-size bed, queen-size bed, uh, beds in the middle, just gigantic thing. 24 feet when it was open, uh, 12 feet in the middle, and we restored it. We restored the outside. Um, I had to do some uh, rebuilding of some rotting wood. Uh, I sealed the roof. Um, my wife did the entire interior. She reclothed everything, sewed stuff, and made curtains. I mean, we painted. We pulled all the cabinets out and painted, put them back in. New flooring. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. And this spring, when we went to go recover it from its snow storage, uh, we found out that the roof in one corner had been kind of collapsed and it separated the side from the roof. Just enough, just a small leak where the caulk is, um, that it leaked water. I mean, as the snow melted, even though there was a cover on it, water still got in. So that made a lot of the wood in the roof uh, where it really needed a rebuild. So the entire roof had to be removed, set aside, stripped, all the wires, everything that's involved in that. I mean, it's a lot of work. And then cut carefully all the little different pieces of wood for the roof. And then put the sandwich of the layers all back together in a way that it all sealed and lined up correctly. And then mount the thing. So it was a big project. I don't have the time. I don't have the facilities. So I thought, we really like camping. Let's just go get a new one and we can stop working on it all the time and then just go camping and have fun. Do you want to say anything? We'll miss no. you, Phyllis. Yeah. Yeah, we will miss Phyllis very much. We've had many uh, great experiences and camping trips, but it was our first and we're moving on. And uh, I think she'll be good for somebody else who doesn't mind doing a little work. Love you. Bye, Phyllis. You gonna be okay? Yes. All right. Bye, yeah. <sighs> Parting shot. Sprayed it off a little bit, got the dirt off the wheels, because it sat stored in the mud over here in the yard. But hey, great experience. Thank you, StarCraft. Our first camping experience was a good one. Love this camper. Had so much fun in it. Huge beds, lots of space for a pop-up. took half a day off from work and I'm heading up to country campers country campers I think in Barrie Vermont and I'm gonna trade in Phyllis <clears throat> Vermont country campers there she goes hi is it on Connor yeah okay, we'll get her a good home make sure she's got a nice loving family to take care of her that's her. So a little damage right here. It had an impact. They're going to replace this panel. But this is the new camper. Beaky tires. It's pretty cool. We will go over it some more when uh, I get home. Man, that thing's high off the ground. I'm approaching the highway. So far, so good. I can tell it's definitely heavier. Uh, in general, on the brakes, I can feel a little more resistance. However, the brakes on the trailer themselves are a lot more powerful than the 97 StarCraft brakes were. I'm surprised how much more stable it feels on the highway. It's really stable. Anyway, I'm on my way home. The kids are going to be excited. Uh, they're, I just called them to let them know I was almost there. And they're squealing in the background. So, almost home, almost there, yay! It's pop-up camper day! Woo! Mama, this is for you. This is all that's left to fill us. Yay! What do you guys think of it, huh? I love it! Does it look like a Sarge? Yes, it looks like a Sarge.
Keep going, sir. Oh my god! <laughs> So yeah, that was a terrible experience. Uh, I stopped recording as soon as it broke. Um, right after that, the entire roof came down sideways. It was really scary. The kids were crying. It was not comfortable. So I maneuvered it around. I fixed it all up. Uh, at least I got the roof back down. I even welded the broken piece. I got it all working again, but it wasn't really perfect. And I called Vermont Country Campers. I really did not expect this. Um, I expected pushback. Just historically, that's what I've experienced. But I told them what happened, and they immediately said, we're gonna come get it. I was shocked, I was floored, I was so excited. You know, I, I explained to them I don't trust the thing. It broke, it blew up, we're gonna come get it. So they worked to find us another 1910 ESP, but the only one they had was their demo model, and we didn't want a used camper, one that people had walked in and out, we paid for a new one. And they didn't have one. But they had a 2280, sitting on their lot and uh, we threw a little extra money at it and they gave us a good deal and we exchanged and they bought back the 1910. I mean, it was unbelievable. They did amazing to take care of us the way they did and they uh, sold us this one for just a little bit more money. Now this one's much bigger, has more space. It's actually the same size as Phyllis and it fits our family much better. It's a 12 foot box approximately, and it's almost a full 24 feet when it's open, but it has a queen size bed and the king size bed, and it has a lot of space for a five person family. So Ethan and I went up to Montpelier. We got our new camper. I'm towing it, it's the 2280. We traded the other one, we got this one. The dealer took such good care of us. Uh, great people at Vermont Country Camper, super nice. They really went uh, the extra mile uh, to make us happy and uh, we're happy we got this new one it's bigger but it's also 300 pounds heavier so I was curious about the tow and it's towing great I can definitely feel it lugging a little more um, but it's stable uh, it's it feels good so I'm at Vermont Country Campers after hours I'm gonna leave the camper here it needs to be aligned I just hope they can fix it. I hope they can make it right. So finally, when everything was done and the camper was towing square and straight, uh, and everything was just working. So we did our first camping trip in Glen, New Hampshire at Ellis Family Campground, and it was awesome. We had a great time. But right now, we're all extremely happy with it, and we really enjoy our camper. We set it up here in the yard, and we camp. We, we sleep in it at night sometimes, and we sit out and uh, have a campfire and enjoy roasting marshmallows in our <laughs> campground yard. Uh, but that's life in Vermont, and I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, this update. This is Sarge. <laughs> Welcome, Sarge, to our family. Phyllis is gone, Sarge is in, uh, and we really do like our 2280BH ESP. Thanks for watching.